Okay, for this I'll show you how to do these uh, multi-unit places. We need a uh, different template for this. Okay, so let's say this unit, uh, king one bedroom, let's say I've got 10 of these units per floor. All right, so I'll go up here for a new linear. And the folder, of course, is going to be, let's say, first floor units. All right. So now, this is uh, first, uh, or you can even just put uh walls times 10 all right now let's say that these are eight foot walls i'm going to go into my advanced here now you want to click these little boxes here and here so that they show up on your template all right and then you put in uh Eggs shell paint TVD. All right, now here, say the walls are eight foot. I'm gonna put eight. Oh, oops. Times eight, and then we'll say there's ten units. And we're gonna do times ten. I'm gonna round that up make this a square feet okay now on my labeling here I put walls times 10 all right it's going to go into my units folder for the first floor okay let me do our walls So, and this way, they're already multiplied out times 10. I don't have to worry about going into Excel and figuring out which ones get multiplied by what. And I have a specific label. It's going to show up when I uh, show legend. It's going to say walls times 10. So the client's going to know that I multiplied those walls times 10. All right. Now, let's say that this goes uh, the other. The second floor has the same number of units. I'm going to do a new folder for second. Floor. units okay now go in here and right click on this copy it won't really go in there yes put that in there and then uh, you can, to make it even more noticeable, you can put in uh, second floor. All right. Makes it much quicker. You could do every item that way. And then save that template into your templates for multiple units like this. And, all right, let me see. If I copy this. All right. So, now, the next time I want to do that, I click on here. And I can change, you know, 
the next one is maybe there's 12 units. And I can go up here in my quantity, change that to 12. And do the 12 units. Of course, you're going to want to change the colors so that they know that they're different. Uh, take offs. All right. Okay, hope that helps. Make uh, new templates. You can do that with everything base, the doors, everything that way. And then you'll have those templates set so that you can just click on them and, and uh, just rename and recalculate. And then when you when you get this out of estimating everything's already calculated per floor we don't need to go into excel and do calculations there all right thanks